But you have to say for yourself. What's for dinner? What's going on here? What's that stink? What's this for? What time is it? What's that? Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> Hey my YouTube friends and family, welcome back to my channel Watson's World. If this is the first time you're visiting this channel guys, as per usual, click on that subscription button. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at The Noble Cop. People here putting away some clothes, just did some laundry and um, as you're thinking, thinking about some comments that a few of my viewers have made and persons have sent me emails about always focusing on the negative things out of Jamaica. As you know, a lot of my videos um, surrounds, you know, various things happening there in Jamaica as it relates to the crime situation. And I can't help it as an ex-police officer, you know, I feel like, I feel like this is something that I always need to address uh, something that i always need to talk about and just by talking about the good things then those bad things will not go away i think it's important for us to come to a realization that jamaica has a problem it has a crime problem and we know after realizing that need to do what it takes and I feel like talking about it is the first step. It's very important. Nevertheless, um, I want to use this video to talk about some more positive things, right? Just saw an article on um, Luke News, and I think I need to share it with you guys. And not a ghetto youth rise up. And it's always good to see our ghetto youths, our Jamaican youths going abroad and making it big. But we also want to see the youths them a yard and make it big. You understand? Right there in Jamaica. We don't want people to live Jamaica to make it big. But it is what it is. Jamaica has its problem right now, right? So I'm going to read this article and, and share some more positive news with, with you, know, right? It says, Jamaican-born teens turning acceptance to top U.S. universities, right? Um, so Jamal Willis... An 18-year-old Jamaican-American student has been accepted to six Ivy League universities in the United States. The teen who attends Barstow High School in Barstow, California, has decided to attend Harvard University in the fall of 2021 on a full scholarship. So big up to Jamal Willis. Um, his story, guys, is I think it's inspiring and it's positive. And I don't think this is unusual, you know. You know, we see a whole heap of Jamaicans left Jamaica, even as a little youth, and them go abroad and make it big. Them, you know, become some of the most brilliant people. Well, them always brilliant, so I can't say become. I've always said that Jamaicans are the best of the best and the worst of the worst at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but yeah. Uh, Jamaicans do tend to excel right i i see it all the time and and i know a lot of you can um, attest to that right but let us continue with this according to abc7 eyewitness news willis came to the united states just four years ago and was from a low income household at his high school willis excelled in academics and sports the jamaican native told news outlet in an interview last Monday that he was accepted into Harvard, Stanford, Princeton, Duke, Columbia, University of Pennsylvania, um, Dartmouth, Georgetown, UCLA, UC Berkeley, Cornell, UVA, UC San Diego, Chapman University, University of Oregon, and Penn State Universities. Eh? Can you imagine? Um, so this youth just seemed to be an exceptional youth. So Willis' mother, Tanya Distant um, Goulburn, in an interview with Eyewitness News said, I'm overwhelmed, I'm overjoyed, proud is an understatement. In explaining that she had no knowledge about the college admissions process before moving to the US, Goulburn said she, um, her son remained focused throughout the process. 
my hope was that he got an opportunity to be as successful as he can be, she added. Meanwhile, Willis disclosed that his career path will hopefully see him becoming a civil rights litigator and to serve in public office by running for Senate, the news report shared. Willis advised other high school students to try and give other people hope, no matter what kind of stigma your community gets or stereotypes that people put on you. Don't just sit there and take it and be a victim to all of that, a victim to society, she said, according to the news report. Always try and follow your own path and just be who you are. All right, people. Um, so one big up this youth here, Jamal Willis. And when we say all the positive news come out of Jamaica, but what I would want to see is more youths in Jamaica excelling right there in Jamaica and help to build our country. Now, I know all the people might say to me, but Watson, you left Jamaica, <laughs> gone somewhere else, you could have stayed and built, built the place. But my thing was more than just wanting to leave Jamaica. You understand? Um, I mean, if you guys watch my other videos, the, the real reason I, I left Jamaica, you know, I explain why. I think I, that video there, you know, the, I think that video there, me, me kind of move it in you know, the membership area. So if you don't want to see that video there, we can join the membership area. But people, I want to say that there is no doubt that Jamaica has some of the most brilliant minds on the face of this earth. I don't have any doubt about that. And I feel like a whole of youths at Jamaica right now, brilliant, but them now use them brilliance, them, tell, them intelligence in the right way. Them are instead use them intelligence to carry out crime and violence, right? But I want to encourage every youth at Jamaica right now that if you can dream it, you can achieve it. There is nothing too hard for you to achieve if you put your mind to it. A whole heap of people see me, and especially when I came on the, the, the media there in Jamaica when I was a police officer, and them see me and think, say, boy, yo, that, 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 that Indian boy I look like, say, I hope town him come from and I want to him. He not understand get up people's struggles and him not understand Jamaican people's struggles. I may tell you something, people. I am 100% Jamaican and I grew up in a very poor family. Yeah, man. Grew up in a poor family. Um, grew up with five other siblings. Right? My mother have six away. People. And it wasn't easy. I may tell you something. I'm going to share something with you guys that I never share with nobody yet on social media. People, a whole heap of time when I was a youth, I not have lunch money to go to school. I remember in a high school, God bless my mother and my stepdad, you understand? But a whole heap of time, they never have it for send me. And I kind of understand because it's you not know, easy for feed six months, you know. I tell you that. And I think they have done very well. They have done very well with all of us. Um, but it's all about your mindset because a whole heap of time you used to take the bus and go to school and have no lunch money people. You understand? Big up one of my very good friends there. We are friends from, we are little youth. And he's an only child. You understand? So a whole heap of time when him get him lunch money, <laughs> Him sharing lunch money with me and him, him will buy food and, and share it with me. Understand me, I say? So big up to the youth there. Um, he know himself. I don't have to call him name. You understand? But yeah, man, one of my good friends from a long time. We are still very, very good friends. Right? But what I say, people, is that it's all about your mindset. I think that some get a youth really weak in their mind and they need to strong up themselves. Some of them might weak in their mind because they never have the influence. Probably them daddy never did it. You understand? I just their mother struggle. And some of them grow up, come see them daddy a criminal or their mommy a criminal and them just feel say boy that are the right way. Right? But me can tell you, say, your circumstances don't always determine your outcome people. Get to youth. You can rise above your circumstances. See this youth here? Another get to youth. Come from a low income family. 
or our household. So if this future can go and rise above its circumstances and do well, I can say any ghetto youth can do it. If you are a ghetto youth, just remember say you can be the next leader of Jamaica in a few years. Right? Yeah man, you can become the next leader and you can change whole heap of things. You can have influence from Wagwan and Jamaica and make Jamaica a better place. Don't make your circumstances make you feel like say you have to get caught up in this whole crime and violence thing. Right? You can emancipate yourself. I mean, no, say, all the people who well are from Jamaica now can tell you, say, them come from a poor family. But guess what? They don't make them circumstances keep them down. Right? Them always a work hard. Them always a push themselves. And them never make nothing stop them until they achieve them goal. You can do it too. Legally. You understand? Education is the key. People, let me just finish by saying, as I pointed out earlier, my people never always have money to send me to school when I go to high school. When I left high school, all my university education, I worked and sponsored myself. You understand? Now I have an MBA. I not tell you, say, boy, my MBA is everything. But I push myself. You understand? And I just continue pushing myself. So I to Canada, I come to school in Canada. I graduated from Rochester Institute of Technology with a postgrad in cybersecurity. And all of that have to do with ambition. You see, ambition is a big thing, you know. Make sure that you have the mindset to achieve and be positive. You understand? That is all more I say. Send these positive vibes out there for all our own people. Make sure, guys, before I leave this video, Click on the subscription button. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at The Noble Cop. I only hope this story inspires you know, um, all of the get to use them. You understand? Share this story with someone. Until next time, yeah man, peace out.